Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Patrick Johnston. I'm the managing broker, co-owner of GoDominicanLife.com and LasTerrenasLife.com, where your real estate company nationwide here in the Dominican Republic. I'm here right now on Playa Bonita in uh, Samana here in Las Terrenas, and I wanted to give you some tips about how to finance your move to the Caribbean, specifically here in the Dominican Republic. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different, eight different ways on how to do things. And believe me, I use all of these things in various sources with our clients and with me personally when I buy property. So we're gonna cover those now. So let's go for a walk and let's talk about it. Number one, the number one way to start your new life here in the Dominican Republic by buying property is to literally show up with your money. I know that sounds stupid and easy, but if you have all the money in your pocket and you do not require any loan or mortgage or help or assistance or partners or colleagues or family, that is always your best bet. I would say about 85 to 90% of our transactions that we do annually in this country are that way. Because, generally speaking, the client base for us is between 45 and 65 years of age when they buy. Doesn't mean they not buy younger or older. Oh, Coconut Express. But the, the issue is, simply, is that that money is king. Money and real money in your pocket is king. So let's cover that. That was easy. It doesn't take any explanation. But let's go on to the other ones. Number two, if you're a North American citizen, you can simply make the commitment, make the commitment and sell your primary asset, which is your house. So if you have a house or a condominium in North America, Canada, the United States, at the time of this video, which is January 2022, the US and the Canadian market are at the peak that they have ever been in the history of both countries with the lowest interest rates possible, which drives value through the roof. So therefore you can sell your property today and go to an all money situation and then buy your property here. Okay, that's another option. Number three, we can help you as a company to refinance your existing asset in the United States or Canada and provide you with a, a new mortgage, which we can organize for you because we have a mortgage division that can take your existing asset and place a mortgage on it or refinance the existing mortgage to allow you to put true money, hard money in your pocket to keep the asset in Canada and acquire a second one down here. Okay, very straightforward. It's not complicated. We can organize that for you throughout North America. Number three, you can buy new construction uh, here in the Dominican Republic, and you can have what I call developer financing. And developer financing is straightforward. If a property or a development is going to be completed over the next one or three years, based on phases, you can put, uh, some money down and make installment payments. So you can pay that out of your pocket or by way of proceeds of other items, our withdrawing from RSPs, selling property, whatever you wanna do, but you can make installment payments based on the construction that is going to happen and therefore still paying cash, but using the financial leverage of the developer in a payment plan to suit your demands. Number four, private mortgages. Uh, there are many people in the world that are sitting on a lot of money. People that have made a lot of money in their personal life or business life, they've sold their company for whatever reason, and now they lend their money out privately for residential type of properties, etc. We have a variety of contacts within our mortgage division that offer that service to clients. And we can show you how you can leverage 
private financing or private mortgages or notes to acquire assets here in the Dominican Republic. That is new for this marketplace. We are pretty unique to offer that service through our mortgage division. And I can speak personally to say I've taken advantage of that. I'm buying two different condos right now as we speak, and I will take that, put it into our own Airbnb program for short-term rentals, make my mortgage payments, if you will, have some profit as well, and have an asset in, in my hands. So private lending, private mortgages, we can help you with that. Number whatever, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, uh, Dominican Republic bank financing, mortgages. This is what I call the least, op least uh, easy option for you to choose. This is something I would say would be, you want to think about or do if you already own the property and the title is in your name. Why? Because the process is horrendous. You know, even with like banks like you would consider from Canada, Scotia Bank, which operate here, sort of like a franchise, We've had clients sit for three, four, five months waiting for a, an approval. And this person specifically that we went through that process with had an 860 credit score, which is 40 points from perfection. So I don't suggest it. So it is something you go through once you own the asset. So I would suggest that if you pay pure hard money, or you do a private mortgage first, establish your uh, cash flow if it's a rental property, and then place a Dominican Republic mortgage on it. I'll go into the details privately with each individual. Uh, it's not the same as Canadian bank lending. It's a smaller amortization period and a higher interest rate than you're used to in Canada, but it's still effective. But it's each case is individual for you to consider. Number six, vendor or seller financing. Now, there are, this is less traditional, it's rare, and I would call prime properties for any reason, uh, may not have the ability for private uh, financing by way of a seller or a, a vendor, as we call it, but they do come up, but they generally will be available for somebody that's putting 50 or 70 percent down with a small amount as a second mortgage for a short period of time six months to two years with or without interest rate it's a convenience thing and when you get into that type of lending or that type of cooperation for a seller it's either a property that needs work that is not perfect that you need to improve on that's not a prime location it could be a second or third level location or Simply put, it's something that you need to work on to establish it to be better managed. So it's not perfect, it is available. We would negotiate them a couple of times. Uh, so it is an option that's available to you to think about. Last two options are gonna talk, last option I'm gonna talk about really, is partnerships, couples, and joint purchases with others. This is a topic that is not perfect, and it's not always recommended because you, when you buy property with other people, it can always become a problem. So you just want to be sure that you have the, the, the depth of knowledge of an, an individual that you may want to partner with or you may want to buy a property jointly together. It's not impossible. You may do it with your brother and your sister or a family member. You may do it with a couple couples to make things more affordable and share a vacation expense. But either way, that's an option to consider. So in the world of financing your properties in the, for your Caribbean lifestyle, there's lots to choose from. It's not all hard money. It can be a variety of different things. But the, the main thing is to work with a real estate company that knows and has the experience to put the options together with a proven circle of professionals around you. That's who we are. So I'm Patrick Johnston, managing broker, co-owner of GoDominicanLife.com and LasTorinasLife.com here in the beautiful Dominican Republic. 
Don't forget to like us, share it, make a comment, send us what you want to see next. But best of all, enjoy your beautiful day. Adios from paradise.